Let's take a look at the new mesh hole filling technology we've added into Freeform 2014. What you see on the screen at the moment is a scan file and it's got some holes in that file. So let's look at how we can fill those holes before we turn this into voxels ready for uh, further work, cleaning up, adding into another model, etc. So I go to mesh tools and I click on my fill holes in mesh. Let's take a look at the new mesh hole filling technology we've put into Freeform 2014. What you see on the screen at the moment is a scan file and it's obviously missing some data. Let's take a look at the new mesh hole filling technology we've added into Freeform 2014. What you see on the screen at the moment is a scan file and it's obviously missing some data, it's got some holes. So let's look at how we can repair those holes. We go over into the mesh tool set and we have fill holes in mesh. And immediately you see Freeform has highlighted all the holes and it's also given us some more information telling us how big those holes are. And then down here on the diner bar, it's highlighted that we have six holes. We can also turn off those labels if we so desire. Just down there on the diner bar under the show labels command. And then let's take a look at this first hole and look at the basic commands. Now I can fill this hole with a flat style. I can highlight the hole just by moving my cursor over it. And then I can hit the fill hole on the diner bar and it fills the hole, but you can see because this is a, a flat hole fill, we actually have a small witness line. We can also do tangent or curve based hole fills. Let's do curve based and fill that hole. And you see it does a, a really good job of just filling that hole in for me. Now let's just undo that and show you some of the other options. Um, I actually don't need to come down here and hit the fill. I could just hit the delete key. And you see that does the same operation as hitting the fill button. And this is very good because if I undo that and do it again, hit the delete key, you can see Freeform automatically jumps to the next hole. So I, I could just keep on hitting the delete key and filling those holes very quickly. Let's undo some of those and look at some more options. So another option we have, rather than fill the hole, the entire hole all together in one hit, I could fill parts of it at once. So just by clicking and dragging, I've now highlighted just this portion and I'm going to fill that just that portion. Or another thing I can do is build bridges. So for example, by clicking and dragging and then let go and then click and drag again, I've now shown a bridge that I want to build. And then it leaves the two holes. So I can fill this one and this one very quickly and easily. And then just to show you the entire piece being filled all in one hit, I'll start at this one, make sure I'm on curve, and just hit the delete key, delete key, delete key. This one we're going to hit the delete key again. For this guy at the top, I'm actually going to choose something different. I'll fill just this little extra cutaway, and then for the top I'll go to flat and hit fill. And then to show you how complex some of the holes are that we can uh, fill automatically. I'll put my style back onto curved and hit fill and it fills that quite complex hole and does a pretty good job with that one. Zoom around you can see we have the entire piece ready to go and ready to be converted into voxels for further work. Let's take a look at another improvement we've made uh, related to hole filling here on the import model dialog. So right now we have the the model set as we'd expect it in the past and I can put my fill style to fill holes and then over on the right hand side we've got this new option picking how those holes are filled for example we have flat which is old freeform flat style we have curved which is old freeform curved style or we have flat geo tangent geo or curved geo and these are the three new options that we've added into 2014 directly on mesh hole filling we've added them at this stage on the import model dialog box so we can just go ahead and pick for example curve geo and right there you can see immediately we have a much better result a much nicer result than we had before with the old curved freeform style and then the last thing we can describe here we actually also have a fill voids and a center scan option so automatically we can fill the voids on import 
And then we could also send to the scan as well. This is useful for when a scan has been made and the scan is very far relative to the global coordinate system. And sometimes you want to move that scan back to the global coordinate system before you start modeling. And that's something that can automatically happen here when we hit send to scan. So now when I hit apply, Freeform automatically converts that mesh file to clay, complete with a curved geo style of hole fill, and at the same time, it's moved it much closer to the global coordinate system than the initial scan started at. This is a much nicer place to start the rest of my work than we've ever had in the past. Cutting out a few steps and just speeding up your general modeling workflow.